Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go through how you can use checkboxes in Microsoft Excel. No, not those checkboxes, as there's a new checkbox here in town. And with that said, let's check it out. In this spreadsheet, I have a list of New Year's resolutions along with the months in the year. We also have a total column here where we want to count the number of times that we achieved our goals in the year. So what we want to do here in the middle of our spreadsheet is add some checkboxes for each of the months so that we can check them off as the year goes by. Inserting a checkbox is really easy. All we have to do is select a cell that we want to insert a checkbox into, then go up to the Insert tab, and then click on Checkbox here. This will add a checkbox that is unchecked by default. Looking at the formula bar, we can see that the value false is shown. And then when we check it off, we can see that the value turns to true. What this means is that the checkbox is really just a different way to represent true and false values. This will become helpful when we get to the months achieved column. So let's go ahead and insert multiple checkboxes too by just selecting all the cells that I want to insert checkboxes into and then clicking the checkbox button. And now I've inserted checkboxes into all the cells for each of the months. Now that we have our checkboxes, let's go ahead and put a formula in our months achieved column that will help us count how many times we've achieved our goals throughout the year. So going over to this cell here. Now I can't use something like the sum function here because checkboxes aren't numbers. They're either true or false. But we could use the count diffs function and count how many cells contain the value true. If you want to learn more about the count diffs function, you can check out my other video here after watching this one. So let's go ahead and enter in the count diffs function. And we're going to highlight this cell range here for our criteria range 1. And then our criteria is going to be the value true. And then we'll close this formula off. And right now we're getting return 0, which makes sense because nothing's checked off. But if I was to start checking off these checkboxes, we can see the number changing. So three months of the year, we get a total of three. So let's just copy this formula down. And then maybe we'll just increase the font size a little bit to be more readable. And then align it just like this. So it looks like it works so far. Let's check back in after some time to see how things are progressing. So here we are at our mid-year check-in. And we have a lot of months with checkboxes checked off. And some of them aren't. And what we want to do here is highlight cells where the checkbox is checked off. And here we can use conditional formatting to do this. So let's say that I want to change the color of the checkboxes to green when it's checked off. All we have to do here is select all the cells that contain our checkboxes. And then we can go up to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then text containing true. And then we can change this to, to this green option here then click OK. And now we've successfully applied conditional formatting to our cells. And that's how you use the new checkbox feature in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.